Hello, uh, my name is Michael and I'm an ear, nose and throat doctor. Uh, and I am currently leading a research project looking to understand more about ear infections. And you might wonder why ear infections are important. And I think that's a very good question. Uh, it just so happens that ear infections are the most common reason for uh, children to be brought to see their doctor. Uh, it's also the most common reason for children to receive prescription of antibiotics uh, and a very common reason for children to undergo surgery. So it's actually a very big uh, clinical problem, um, but treatments haven't changed for about 50 years. Um, and so we think it's really important to try and find out more uh, about the science underlying why some people get these infections uh, again and again, and sometimes end up getting long-term problems with their ears. So uh, we are interested in um, a particular part of the body called the adenoids. So they're a bit like the tonsils of the nose. So you have tonsils at the back of the mouth, the tonsils uh, of the nose are called the adenoids. And they are uh, an accumulation of uh, what's called lymphoid tissue. Uh, so that's tissue that has cells that are uh, important in fighting infections. And we know from surgical trials that removing the adenoid tissue actually reduces the frequency of ear infections in some cases, but it's not known why. So uh, what we will be doing is uh, using uh, an array of very uh, modern techniques in the laboratory uh, to look at the different populations of infection-fighting cells in the adenoids of uh, children with and without ear infections. And by understanding the differences in those two groups, we can hopefully target pathways um, with medicines uh, to try and reduce uh, the uh, number of ear infections that patients are getting. And the reason that would be really valuable is that at the moment, lots of the treatments uh, involve antibiotics, which have side effects and uh, overuse can lead to antibiotic resistance, which is a, an enormous global problem. And then the other treatments are surgical, which uh, very often involve a general anesthetic. Um, and really having some sort of medicine instead of those treatments uh, would be very welcome. And uh, the first step to getting there is understanding those immune cells that are present in those with and without ear infections. Um, and that's our area of interest. And uh, please let us know if you have any questions. Thank you very much.